today let me just say thank you to all our subscribers and thank you to who just joined the Borkel crew we appreciate you guys and thank you and appreciate all the support that you've been giving us for the past three weeks we are over 250 subscribers already and I couldn't be more appreciative to you guys for your support and just having fun with us but today I want to show you guys how I make my white bread in this bowl let me show you guys you're gonna take two tablespoons of water which is one eighth of a cup and add two tablespoons of milk This is at a temperature of 107 to proof our yeast, and today I will be using active dry yeast. I'll be adding two tablespoons of active dry yeast to the one eighth of a cup of warm water and one eighth of a cup of milk. I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top. So that's one this is another one now I'm gonna just add just a pinch of sugar to help with the yeast just a sprinkle of sugar and I'm gonna get a whisk and we're gonna whisk this together Once it has whisked together, we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes for the yeast to react. Now we're going to take, I'm going to use the mixing bowl right here. I'm going to take this mixing bowl. In this mixing bowl, I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of granulated sugar and a teaspoon and a half of salt. After that, I'm gonna pour the remaining milk that I have left into the bowl. I'm now going to attach this, um, this is not the dough book, it's just the typical thing, I don't remember what this one is called. I'm going to attach it to the mixer and put it on medium speed to mix for 10 minutes. almost finished mixing I'm gonna add a tablespoon of melted butter ten minutes has passed by so I'm gonna go ahead and check on our yeast mixture this is how it looks when it is fully glued it is all puffed up now we're gonna pour this we're going to pour this yeast mixture into the mixing to the mixing bowl. Now that this is in the mixing bowl, we're going to go ahead and add half a cup of flour. This recipe calls for two and a quarter cup of flour. And we have already added one in the first mixture. Now we're gonna go ahead and add half a cup 
with this. To mix on low speed. Oh, that wasn't so low. <laughs> As it is mixing, as it is mixing, we keep adding the remaining flour. Now that this that I just poured in is fully cooperated, I'm going to go ahead and add another half. Now you can see that the, the dough is coming together. It is very still, it is still very soft at the moment, but we will be adding the remaining flour in just a minute. Now it is time for the last quarter cup of flour and we can put that on medium speed in addition to that last quarter cup we had we're going to add just three tablespoons to bring it together Now that it is coming together, it's time to change to the to the dough because the dough is what is gonna bring it into the texture we want it. So if you look, this is how it looks right now. And and take this off. It is very soft, but it is the texture that we want it. We're going to change this petal. And now we'll be using a dough hook for this to finish. Now that we have attached our dough hook, we're going to put it down, we're going to close it. Now that it's down and it's closed, we're going to go ahead and put this on medium, medium speed until it completely forms into a ball. We're going to give it five minutes. Five minutes has now passed. It's been, yeah, it's been five minutes since this has been kneaded. So now I'm going to take two tablespoons of butter and put it in inside and let it knead with it on medium low. In this stage, don't freak out if you see the dough start pulling apart. Again, it's just it's just processing the butter that's been added to it. So that's one. I'm going to add one more. And that is going to bring the dough apart and then back together again. And I'm going to knead this for like 10 minutes or less depending on how this works. Because sometimes I, I do it more than once and it sometimes it takes shorter time, sometimes it takes longer time. So. I'll just wait until it is completely back together. Now that the dough is finished, I'm going to dust lightly my work area. Well, I said lightly, but this is a lot of flour. A lot of cleaning up to do after this. And then I'm going to detach this bowl. And this is how my dough looks. It literally forms itself into a ball and it is so soft. 
I'm going to pour this out on this. I'm going to get another bowl to grease and let this rise some more in. I'm going to use this bowl and I'm going to grease the bottom of the sides. Because you don't want your dough to be sticking. And also, I'm going to get some plastic wrap to put over it. My bowl is very deep, so alright. Now that I have this in a bowl right here, I'm going to put this in here. It is very deep, so I don't have to oil my plastic wrap. If you're using a shallow bowl though, make sure to oil the plastic wrap because it will stick. Now that this is covered, I'm going to put this on the stove top right here. No, actually, I'm going to put it in the oven. It's not turned on, but I'm going to turn on the oven light with yeast and like making sure the bread is fully like it rice properly it needs to be somewhere warm like right now it's a good time to bake in Alaska because it's not so cold and even when you have your eaters going on it's still cold now it's it's really warm so if it, it it all depends on your house and where you put your dough to rise if your house is a much cooler house colder house then it's going to take longer because it needs that warmth to really activate the heat and let it rise like really fast so i'm going to give this about 45 minutes to an hour to like double it in size so i'll see you guys after that is done guys some time has passed now now i'm going to check on the dough Now that our dough has risen twice in its size, I'm going to get a loaf pan. I still don't have an accurate measurement for this loaf pan, but as a matter of fact, I'm going to check it right now. I'm going to check that measurement. So now we're using a 10 inch bread pan, but first, let me show you guys. You're going to get this board, which is lightly floured, and you're going to roll, it is so soft. You're going to roll your dough out, and all I'm doing right now is literally pressing it. Pressing it into a rectangular, rectangular shape, just like that. You don't need no rolling pin or nothing. You just need to put it into like a nice little rectangular shape. Now that it's like this, I'm going to take one side, put this right here, and I'm going to put this over this, like this. I'm going to pinch and tuck, pinch and tuck it under. You're kind of like sealing it so I'm just pinching it and the same thing with the end I'll be pinching and tucking it inside like this 
Same thing with the other end. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this over. Just like this. I'm just putting it up to the size of my pen. Now that I have this, what I'm going to do is grease this. Now that this is fully greased, I'm going to put this side that I seal down. So I'm just going to carefully flip it. But if you look, you can see that this is a little bit too long. So I'm just going to put it up. I'm just going to push it up together. It's okay. Once the, once the bottom is round, just like that. Just like that. I'm just going to fix it. Okay, to make sure it is like fully like that. Now that it is set in this, it needs to be proofed one last time. So I'm gonna use this I'm gonna let this rise I don't want to do it too tightly what's this I don't know what this thing is I don't want to do it too tightly in case it rises just a little bit too much but we want it to rise like and like curve over the edges of the of the baking of the loaf fan. So I'm going to put this to rise again for probably another hour. I'm going to take the, the loaf out of the oven. And I want to show you guys how beautifully crowned it is. Look at this. And it isn't baked as yet. So now... I'm gonna create my oven to 350 degrees. And then after that, I'll take the plastic wrap off and then put it into the oven. It still has the potential to rise more, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But as you can see, um, wait, let me fix this. It is very, very soft. So you know it's gonna be a very light bread. So I'm just gonna wait then to put it in the oven. Yeah. So now that my oven is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in for 18 to 22 minutes. It all depends on when it is like bouncing back. That's my technique that I use. Until, or, until it has a internal temperature of I think 220 degrees, I think, when the yeast is completely killed. Ooh. So, I will see you guys after it is finished. So now that my bread is finished baking, I'm going to go and pull it out. Look at this. This is looking so good, guys. I know it's hot, but it has to it has to be removed immediately because you don't want any you don't want any moisture to be building up beneath the bread. So it has to be taken out immediately and put on this cooling rack that I have here. Like this. Okay. 
look at this a nice loaf of bread put it over like this now I'm gonna go ahead and put some melted butter actually get a pastry brush for this look at this I know it is tempting uh, you will see let me show you guys something there's a dip in mine right here because at one point I thought the oven door was completely closed it wasn't so I would have ended up with a really nice but this is sink because it was getting cold air in so don't make that mistake I know this is tempting to cut right now but you don't want your bread to be breaking apart so you have to wait until it's completely cool down and now that the bread is com well not completely for the most part cool down look at the sides let me show you guys something look how spongy that is it is literally bouncing back in so I'm gonna cut it I'm just gonna cut the head off whoa look at that ear that crisp oh my god this is crazy look at that look at this guys look at this texture soft as a sponge it is still a little warm so I'm gonna let it cut down cool down for a minute and then I'll show you guys the rest so guys here you have it this is fresh made white bread I'm just gonna show you how thin this thing is not thin how soft this thing is I'm just gonna rip this piece apart it is literally so soft perfect white bread I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the next video